So I'm uh, Alice Needham, and I'm a freelance illustrator and tattoo artist uh, based in Leeds in the UK. So I did a fine art degree at university um, and in my final year of uni I started sort of experimenting with digital illustration. I'd always loved illustration but I was like let's let's give it a go. Um, started selling prints and it kind of snowballed, it was all quite unexpected. Uh, I managed to get a few sort of big jobs with various different brands and things quite early on and then it just sort of went from there. So now I'm actually a tattoo artist, it's something that I've always wanted to do. I've got a lot of friends in the industry. Um, it's something I've just always been interested in, as you can tell, I am covered. <laughs> um, I've been getting tattooed since I was 18, so it's just kind of developed over the years. I've worked in a few um, studios over the past few years, so I've worked in the industry, know what it's about, and then I was lucky enough to get offered an apprenticeship after trying for probably around like six years, sort of on and off, because it's a hard industry to get into. I think my illustration actually really helped um, because a lot of my sort of initial designs that I was showing in the portfolio to try and get an apprenticeship were a lot of my illustration work and it's helped kind of, I would say also it's helped my clientele because a lot of my clientele are people who follow my illustration career and people are like, oh, I'm going to come get your illustrations on me and it's like very humbling and like in a good way um, and just really flattering as well. So yeah, I was looking enough to get offered an apprenticeship um started that still obviously doing an apprenticeship so i'm nearly a year in tattooing now so still classed as an apprentice but i'm absolutely loving it but with my illustration work sort of being bold um and drawing from a lot of different influences i kind of really the way i've sort of developed it is i just take inspiration from all the kind of stuff that i love so i really love like 1960s, 70s design, so that's why you'll see a lot of those kind of colours in my work. Obviously I'm a queer illustrator so I try to bring that a lot into my work. Um, also again, with having a fine art background, I have a huge array of reference books from over the years and that is usually what I will just sit and flick through and it's taking sometimes more traditional styles of art and then bringing them into my illustration and making them sort of bold and interesting. With being a sort of queer artist in the industry, um, I think I've been quite lucky that I've got a lot of work. Um, I love having that sort of being able to use my platform, especially for people who might not have a voice, um, is a big thing for me because there's a lot of people who don't have that voice or don't have those opportunities. So I'm like, well, I'll, I will use mine the way I can. My favorite uh, design on Empress is probably my crying is cool. Uh, t-shirt so it is this one uh, it's a bit of a mix of design so it's like a combination of my illustration work and my tattoo career going together um, so it's taking from like traditional tattoo styles but then also I was like you know it's cool to be soft it's cool to be emotional like why not let's make a sort of fun t-shirt where it's kind of a bit hard and soft at the same time. <laughs> my advice to other creatives making on Everpress is keep it simple, keep it bold, have a few options and you should be good to go.